Hello everyone, my name is Vetan and I'm just gonna make a quick intro to Red Tamarin. Red Tamarin is based on the Tamarin project. Both projects are open source. But Red Tamarin has a slightly different goal. Red Tamarin is focused on adding native libraries to use in ActionScript 3. It can help some people coming from C or C++ to write ActionScript 3 code. It can help other people already knowing ActionScript 3 to write command line executable without the need to know C or C++. The short goal of the project is to provide most of a C standard library to an ActionScript environment. The medium goal is to provide specialized library to use sockets or databases like SQLite, for example. The long-term goal is to provide a native API that replicates some part of the Adobe integrated runtime that you know better as Air. My little hidden goal is to teach myself C and C++. But that's another problem. I love Flash, Flex, and Air, but I also like the common line, and that's why I started this project. So, let's see a little example. Just have a basic action script file. I'm gonna import a function. Uh, the goal is to get the current directory. And I'm just going to make a simple trace of this current directory. As you can see, we have code completion, syntax and lighting, and all the custo that are working in this project that is set up in FlexBuilder 3. Okay, save my file. And now I'm going to run a compilation that use the build and run script. So that script first generate an ABC file and then execute this file with the red shell runtime. You can see the result here. Okay, so Let's see what happened. So you got a runtime, the red shell executable, here on OS X and here for Windows. And you got also a binary file, the ABC file, which in your action script source code compiled to bytecode. Uh, just a little detail, uh, the red shell executable is in fact a slightly modified version of the AVM shell that you can find in the Tamarin project. But you can do another thing with that. No, we just build and run. That's one thing. But what you could do also is compile an executable. And for that, we're going to use another shell script, build exe. Let's run it. So you can see there is a first compilation and a second one. Because in fact, this script generates two executable. You can see them here. You got one for OS X and you got one for Windows. As you can see, I'm using OS X, so let's run this executable. I am in my project source directory. That leaves the files. I want to run men. Good, it's working. In fact, we got our ABC file inside the 
a red shell executable and they are both merged, then you got a self-contained executable. And you see you got also another executable that is for Windows and we're gonna run it inside the Windows virtual machine to see if it's working. So here the Windows environment. Let's drag and drop the file here. So man.exe. Let's run it. Cool, it's working too. So to give a little more detail, here's the project red tamarin. It is based on two things. You got the red directory that is in, in fact a subdirectory that need to be used with Tamarin Central. This is basically C and C++ source code that allow to modify the IVM shell to add more native function. You got also an action script tree library that is named Red Shell that is basically the building action script object and some uh, over definition that allow to define native action script tree function. And basically you use it like that. You got a bin directory with the action script compiler, uh, the native building library and top level library, the red shell executable, some shell script that work on OS X or Windows. And from there, you can write your source code in ActionScript tree. And with those utilities, you can compile it to an executable. If you go on the Red Tamarind project, on the download page, oh, just wanted to show the download page. You will have listed a simple zip file that contains all that you need to get started. Let's just see what's inside it. I don't know the file, I unzipped it, and here what you got. You got the action script compiler, those things I already talked about, and those basic shell scripts. So in fact, when you start a project in Flex Builder, you just merge these little settings with your project and you also need to get the action script tree red shell library so you can have the code completion not only for the building object but also for um, the native function I added in red shell. So let's see a little more code completion. Um, got standard lib for example and you got basic function about at exit exit get environment random set environment system things like that voila that's all um, I will try to provide a little more tutorial and uh, another one to show how to set up flex builder to write uh, action script tree code but for red shell and um, see you next time cheers